Yo, welcome to the home for anime. I am your host, GPC, great podcaster Cali, and I am here with a new segment. Oh God, there's so fucking many of these lately. What am I doing with my life? Anyway, this one is called Hangout Sessions, and Hangout Sessions are basically just episodes that wouldn't make it into a volume, and it's just me and maybe a homie. Not a homie like from a homie check-in, but just like a different homie, and we're just talking about anime regularly so first homie that i'm bringing on it's my good friend Catherine. Catherine, what the fuck is up sister hi so what's up um i read the new chapter of chainsaw man today holy fuck yeah that did come out what'd you think did you read it first of all i did it was so wow. cool uh yeah, this is a good part two. This is a good start. When I saw the page count was 54, I was like, all right, this is good. Uh, yeah. The fucking chicken. Yeah, that went kind of, I mean, that was weird. I really thought they were going to kill it, but then they didn't, and it died anyways. Yeah, and like, what was his name, Buck? Yeah, something like that. Bacar, I don't know. Like, all I could think was, of was that song where it's like, Duck, if you buck, duck, if you buck. <laughs> and then, like, he, he legit, he just fucking dies. But I was talking with Andrew earlier, and he was saying uh, that Buck might have been the war devil. What? No, but the okay. war devil showed up as an owl. As a fucking bird. Yeah, that looks like an owl, not a chicken. Well, yeah, but also the entrails like an umbilical cord when she fell on him, remember? Like, it, it, the way he explained it, it made so much sense, and I'm doing a poor job of relaying it, but I I went through it, and I was like, oh my god, you're you're right. Hmm. Like, I think you're right. The, the, the buck might be the, the war devil. I don't know. I should have been included in that talk. It was so... F- he Andrew's so smart. I love that guy. I'm just like, <laughs> damn it. Where, where, where do you get this stuff from? I want to pick his mind now. Like, how is the chicken an owl, the war devil? Well, first off... Wait, I, I'm already forgetting. Was it actually a chicken? Like, did they say it was a chicken? You mean the in the beginning of yeah. the chapter? Yeah. Yeah, because they were like the teachers, like I'm gonna we're gonna eat this after three months. You're gonna hang out with this chicken, and class, your job is to kill it and eat it. They put like a like a low key fake assassination classroom thing on us with that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think the author has been catching up on some other stories. Because when I saw that, I was like, okay, so Denji's going to fight a giant chicken. But, maybe. But that that's just, I mean, yeah, maybe, but I'm glad that that's not the direction that it was going. And it was like, yeah, we, we raised it, and now it's, because three months just goes by in a flash. Mm-hmm. But yeah, dude, I fucking loved, uh, I love chapter 98. I was talk. I was also talking to, uh, Tomie's lover about it and I'm like we need to have like a full discussion on that alone he's like yes we do so we're both yeah. holding our thoughts for right now hey you know what we should do is bring him and Andrew and me and you a group discussion I would die I think a group discussion is needed right now because I want to understand where what they're thinking about this because i'm not thinking the same thing right now i'm just trying to figure out what homegirl's beef with denji is because i i legit thought that that was i thought it was a flashback and i thought that was teenage kobeni for a second yeah it looked like her but i think she just doesn't like this new era of um devil hunters who are like part what okay who are cash you just jumped up on the desk all right um, yeah um okay i don't think they hinted that she doesn't like it she doesn't like this new era where the devil hunters are also the devils right now mm-hmm. 
which is kind of what Denji started, where he's kind of like the anti-hero, I guess. Um, at, oh, have you seen The Boys? It's a lot like that. I have not seen The Boys. I okay. I have not watched many live action anythings in several years. Okay, so if you got Amazon Prime, you if you don't have it, you're going to borrow my account. You're going to watch it because it's it's such good writing. All three seasons, it just gets better and better and gory and it's like top notch. It's on the same level as Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Didn't didn't bottom Aquaman fuck an octopus or something? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Like so, I, I saw that scene and I was like, I don't I don't know how I feel about this. Like mind you, all the all the H anime I've seen and I was uncomfortable with that. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, but it's really well written. I mean, okay. Yeah. I still haven't seen Invincible. That's also top notch. I had to stop watching that. I felt um, uncomfortable watching that more than I did watching The Boys, I think. Really? Yeah. I, there's something about like um, animated blood, and that's different from like anime. Like, oh, yeah. Chainsaw Man or like Demon Slayer, the, the way they animate blood there, I don't feel grossed out. It's almost artistic looking. Mm. But for Invincible, it was just like, I don't know, unsettling. Hmm. So don't watch Invincible then. Eh, give it a shot and make your own, you know, judgment call on that. I'm still working through Arcane, which I'm watching very slowly. Yes, take your time. It's really good. Like, I think I'm still on like episode four or five. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I I fuck with it heavy. Yeah. So I'm I am definitely taking my time because I think I went through several episodes at once, and I was like, I need to take a break. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> because it's a lot. It's very intense. Yeah, yeah. I think when I watched it, it was because um, well, at the time they were only releasing it one episode at a time, so I got a full week break to like digest what I just saw get excited for the next one it's worth it yeah goodness gracious Mm-hmm. so i also have, did you hear about that new show uh call of the night no what is that it's like this however many years old vampire lady um like quote unquote catches this insomniac boy who's 14 and he she shows him all the pleasures of the night in like a non sexual way at least not at first and then she's like she like basically is just trying to get him to go to sleep so she can drink his blood and he's like wait am I going to turn into a vampire she's like no she's like you have to fall in love with the vampire who bites you before you turn into a vampire. And he's like, Oh, well then let me fall in love with you. And Mm -hmm. I don't know. She's like this weird mix of looking like a kid and not looking like a kid, but like, she's obviously an adult in terms of vampire age. This is an anime. This is an anime. (laughs) And I don't know, like I'm uncomfortable, but also I'm kind of hooked. Because I'm trying to see, like, is it just going to show, like, Japan's nightlife Mm -hmm. and delve into this boy's problems and whatever this woman's deal is? Mm -hmm. Because apparently she's already taken over people's PFPs, like, all over. Oh, wow. I haven't seen it. So maybe it's going to... I'm going to DM you a picture and see if you might have... If you might have seen this this gal Let's see mm, look familiar no? no well it's on high dive and uh i have been anxiously waiting for the second episode so it looks like it airs hmm thursday 
Friday. Okay. But you described it as this like borderline adult that looks like a child. So that part I'm not excited about. I just want to know more about Japan's nightlife. Like I want to see how it's going to look through this boy's uh, eyes. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> sure. That's what they said about sword art online. It's I'm here for the storyline. No, but seriously, like they animate the shit out of this city. You don't understand. Okay, okay. I'll take a look at some clips. And... Like it looks so fucking cool. Like the the very last bit is what made me say I'm gonna watch this show because I is it a spoiler if it's the first episode? No. Okay. So like she pushes him off of a building. And then she's like, hold on. It's like she he has to hold on to her. And they do like these really sick shots and they show a bunch of like Japan at night. And I'm like, I want to see more of this. She's saying that she's going to show him all these types of things. And I want to be there for that. Mm-hmm. Also, as a former insomniac, I, I feel where he's coming from. Plus, he doesn't understand anything about relationships. And I'm like, hey, man. Same. <laughs> mm, okay. Uh, also, have you ever seen Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon? If we're going to stay on the creepy side? <clears throat> Did you just say an anime title to me? Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in the Dungeon? Yes, I did. I've never seen that. I don't watch that kind of stuff. It's not as bad as you think. <laughs> The title is just very unfortunate. Uh huh. Yeah. It's it's like uh, if you just that, called it Familia Myth, it would be so much better. That title got approved. I I don't think that was even like what it meant in Japanese. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. But season four of that is coming out. Oh, then, there's a season four. There's a season four. Bro, what Look, the heck? Season one was goaded. Season two is dog shit. Season three is really good. And season four, like, JC staff has ruined Don Machi. That's what we call it. We call it Don Machi. They have ruined Don Machi. But Mm -hmm. the writer of the light novels came onto the staff. I guess he was like, you're not fucking up any more of my work. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're going to get this part of the adaptation right. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, yes, let's go. Oh, I burped. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. I hope then that they do that for One Punch Man because it's finally picking up in the manga. I heard, but I haven't read. I haven't read, but I saw the panels and it's finally like, like showing Saitama's full potential. You know, the one that's been hinted at for so many chapters now. Finally. Yeah, I heard he's like whooping ass now. Yeah, and he's actually getting hit back. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is he bleeding? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. So there's this thing that popped up on Twitter recently, and it turns out it's this whole thing that's on YouTube. Um, I, I, I don't like Dragon Ball Z. I'm going to preface by saying that. I don't like Dragon Ball Z, but mm-hmm. there's this um, this fan animation. Now I burped. There's this fan oh. animation that's. Oh, I I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, Legend, yeah. a Dragon Ball tale. Yeah, I I didn't see it, but I saw uh, Moist Critical talk about it today, and he showed a bit of the clips, and yeah, that was like this. I can't believe that kid spent four years animating this, and that's some top-notch animation from one guy. It is so good. Like, If that is what Dragon Ball Super was, I would have been way more invested. Yeah. Now all I have in my proper memories is Dragon Ball GT. (laughs) I didn't keep up with dragon ball i like watched it in the background when i was a little and um you know didn't really follow it much there's nothing wrong with that it's not 
I'll probably get crucified for saying this. Dragon Ball Z is not that great. It's okay. I don't. I don't like it. Yeah, it's the, okay. The pacing is just very poor. Yeah. But like '90s anime fashion posts some stuff from there, from that show, from that, and regular Dragon Ball. Regular Dragon Ball is funny as shit, but Dragon Ball Z, I'm just like, eh. But the fits are always on point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's something yeah. that you gotta love about Dragon Ball. That's true. So also, I uh, I read through what is it? I read through Kobayashi, the Dragon Maid, one. Oh yeah. And I didn't realize how horny that uh, mangaka was. He's yeah, like very very horny. Yeah, that one is for fan service. And I checked through some of his other works and like this man loves titties yep like there is an entire uh manga series i think it's called chi 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 and it's about this dude who looks like a shota and he um lives but he's like an adult and he lives with this he, th- this girl who he's, who he met online moves in with him and he always ends up in like these situations where he ends up uh, doing the deed with her double D's to be as correct as I can. Mm-hmm. And that's like the punchline for most of them, except for the fact that he has a sister and sometimes the sister like j- kind of joins in because she has a crush on him. But I can never mm-hmm. tell if like it's actually happening or if she's fantasizing about it. I'm like, dude, who are you? Why is this even allowed? I don't know. Incest hentai is big. <sighs> yeah, I know. It's weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, weird. It's so very weird. weird. So what else is up? Well, also read through Shikimori is not just a cutie. Mm-hmm. And that one is, it's pretty good. I prefer the manga over the anime. Okay. I haven't read that one. It's just like a very wholesome rom-com high school type, John. It's just oh. like, a, yeah, like this really cool girl mm-hmm. is, uh, She's very athletic, very charismatic, and she has this boyfriend who is cursed with bad luck, so he's very accident prone. And it's literally just a lot of it is her saving him. Mm-hmm. But it seems very like it seems very grounded in reality. It's just it's unnatural how much bad stuff happens to him and how cool she is, but it's stuff that can very well happen. I see. Yeah. Okay. What about you? Anything else that you've been watching or reading? Um, let's see. Uh, in terms of anime, well, Spy Family. Oh my god, it's I, so good. I fucking I meet my mom over Zoom once, or I I did. I met my mom over Zoom once a week, like every Saturday, so that we could watch Spy Family. <laughs> yep. It's so good. Like she, like I, I, we were on the phone the other day, and I was like, "Hey, mom, I'm gonna give you a, a test. What's your favorite anime?" And before Spy Family, she would always say, "Oh, babe, it's Violet Evergarden." Yeah, and I'd be like, "All right, good. You know, you're still my mom." Yeah. Uh, I talked to her the other day, and I was like, "What's your favorite anime?" She's like, "Spy Family." The fuck? <laughs> I was like, "Wait, wait, wait. What about Violet Evergarden?" She's like, "Damn that." <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like it's spy family. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my dude, what? I I don't want to go to another family. (laughs) Yeah, it's just it's so good. I didn't expect the animation for that one to be that great, and the best episode wasn't even part of like the storyline. It was a filler. Are you talking about episode five? Yeah, with oh, the with, with the, the castle. Yes, that is my. F- 
favorite yeah. episode of that entire season. That's my favorite episode of any anime for the entire year. Yeah. Like I, I love, love, love watching that. I want to rewatch it actually now. I was thinking about redoing it in the English dub because oh. I heard the dub was decent. Okay. Yeah, that's that's an idea. Because I mean, the sub, great. Um, the dub probably good. I guess. Uh, I guess. Like I heard it was good. I heard it was pretty decent. I've seen some clips, but not enough to make an informed decision. But the reason that oh, I love the sub so much is because um, my teen romantic comedy snafu. I don't know if you've heard of that anime. No. Uh, well, the the two lead actors for the for that show, the ones who play uh this dude named Hachiman and this girl named Yukino, who end up being a couple in the end, uh, they play Lloyd and Yor. Wait, what? So basically, this power couple from one anime ends up playing a power couple in another anime. <gasps> That's so cute. It is. I was like, I was like, wait, do they date in real life? But I don't think they do. But oh, it's like, how do you? I'm like, how do you get like two iconic uh, partner roles just like that? I know, right? Wow. But also the the OP and the ED for Spy Family are both just so impressive. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. Um... After the first episode, I was watching it with my boyfriend. He just went on his Apple Music, looked for it, and saved it to his playlist. And that's that's a regular song we listen to in the car now. Uh, mixed nuts or comedy? Uh, both. Nice. And especially when we found mixed nuts and we were listening to it on YouTube, um, every time, every Saturday, we watch the new episode and the intro starts playing. Um, you know, like they say peanuts yeah. in that song. Yeah. I just like if you just sing peanuts for the whole tune of the song, it fits. It works. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. I kind of want to hear that, but I don't want to put you on the spot. Uh, I mean, unless you play the song, but I'm like, I can't do that because I don't want it to get taken. I don't want this episode to get taken down. Uh, let me just listen to it real quick. Mix nuts, right? Yeah. Yeah, by uh I don't know how to pronounce this band's name, but I love them so much. God, I feel like such an asshole. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me listen. Oh yeah, the tune. Yeah, the tune, it's um a type of jazz. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. I forgot what type, but I think that's what really stood out for my boyfriend. He was just like, this is jazzy. I like it. And um, yeah, like the beat of it, you could just go like peanuts, 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 peanuts. And it works. If oh, it's God, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you hear it? I did. I yeah. heard it. And like I, the, the thing that I love so much about it is when it gets to that second verse and yeah. then it like goes into kind of a, like a different beat. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, I always find myself, I mean, I got hurt recently, so I can't do it like I used to, but I would just like start busting a move when it got to that part. It's just be like, and I was just like, uh, I loved it. <laughs> I love it so much. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I loved it because as soon as we both, like me and my boyfriend, heard the word peanuts, I was immediately like, peanuts? Peanuts, peanuts. <gasps> peanuts, 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 peanuts. Yeah, it works. It's way better than trying to learn the lyrics. Exactly. It <laughs> works. <laughs> oh, man. Yep. So been reading anything uh no i've just been waiting for chainsaw man part two to come out so that's gonna be my weekly reading i try to keep up with jujutsu kaisen it's just kind of all over the place right now is it yeah um gojo is not in the picture at the moment and i'm waiting for the 
part where he is and every week I just wait and wait but there's like some big war happening right now in the story so just trying to get through that and he's like the best character he is I mean honestly let's face it he is fine yes you know they um they made this figure of him and i mean he he is pure fuckboy material oh, all yeah. the way around but like he's got like his shirt up and everything and i i was like i'm trying to get like you my boy like he... trying to get a statue of me for for women to simp <laughs> over men and women alike just everyone's he... like oh my god it's the eyes it's the eyes it is the eyes he's got dreamy eyes he does honestly i feel like him and young gravy could be like the ultimate duo i don't know how i just feel like it could happen yeah make it happen i'm i i need to i need to get in touch with the mangaka and be like hey put young gravy in this in jujutsu kaisen have him be the one to break gojo out (laughs) Please, or just like for like a like one of those um like a filler chapter. Like, oh you know my how god! They, if he's how like they just, doodle at the end. If he's just like trapped in there and he's like singing one of Gravy's songs. Yeah. Oh my god! We need to make that happen. I would imagine so that. Happy. That's the next four year project. Will be the next Dragon Ball <laughs> tale. <gasps> I mean, Gravy's got the funds to make it happen. We, I'm, I'm gonna have to contact Gravy and see if he wants to make an anime. Do it. Oh my god! Especially after, oh god, I don't think I've ever told this story. I've never had a reason to, to the on the podcast. Um, when I was a senior in college, I ran an entire campaign to get the rapper Young Gravy to come to my university town which was Asheville in North Carolina and at first I just I was kind of doing it as a joke like yeah I want to see gravy but like I I just want to make people laugh and then people started coming up to me and being like hey we we saw we see what you're doing do you want help and I was like help with what and I'm like oh oh sure and eventually it gained so much traction there were like dozens if not hundreds of children because that's all we were at the time children asking rapper young gravy to come to Asheville, north carolina for a fucking concert and i would message him every day and be like with just like random shit and then he was like we're coming to Asheville on tour don't worry lol and i was like that happen i made that happen I should start putting that on my job resumes. Just like, I got Young Gravy to come to Asheville. You should put that in the supplement. Yeah. On your resume. I think I will. It's like, what have you done with your life? Well, uh, I run a podcast and I I got a, I got a DM from Young Gravy. Yeah. Honestly, what more do you want? If I could live off of DMs from Young Gravy, I would. He is... <laughs> He is just incredible. Oh my goodness. I, <sighs> Young Gravy. His latest song is a bop too. Really? I haven't heard it. Oh, it's called uh, Betty. And he basically <laughs> takes uh, Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up and he samples the shit out of it. Oh, okay. I'm going to listen to that later. Oh my god. Please do. Please listen to it. And also, I guess I can just ask. I mean, we're hanging out, so I can ask you. Do you want to watch some Kill Annie stuff with me? Because that's pretty much what Volume 4 is going to be. I can say that now. I don't give a shit. Kill Annie. What? Kill to Animation. Uh, okay. Yeah, I guess it depends. Yeah, like, they've got, like, a shit ton of movies and shows and stuff, and I'm just going to try and cover as many of them as I can. Because, okay. like, 
like when I suffered that burnout, I was like, I need to do something that will actually make me happy. Yeah. And what else would make me happier than the studio that made Violet Evergarden and Beyond the Boundary? True. Yeah. Okay. I'm down. Great. Even though I didn't like Sound Euphonium. Huh? What? Have you ever seen Sound Euphonium? No. It's like band geeks. Like that episode of Spongebob. But, yeah. But like in an anime form. Mm-hmm. And there's no Super Bowl scene. Oh, but it's, okay. But it's like, I appreciate the fact that they made it. I, I guess I shouldn't say I don't like it. I like it okay. It's just not my favorite. Mm. But I still have like 15 or so shows and movies to get through. So if you ever want to join me for any of those. And, you know, if anybody who joins the Patreon and gets on Discord, wants to join, then we can definitely watch some Kill Annie stuff on Discord for $3 a month. Wow, what a steal. <laughs> what a steal. Yeah, $3 a month. Usually, like, Patreon people are, like, minimum 5 No, that's bullshit. The highest that I go on mine is 20 and i'm like i don't have anything to offer past ten dollars but like if you want to give me 20 to make my day yeah I'm, it's just like you got extra 20 throw it my way yeah because like i think it's like a tier of three a tier for five a tier for 10 and then a tier for 20 um, i'm pretty sure that's how i have it set up nice so i feel like i feel like that's reasonable especially for what i offer Except for that twenty dollar one, I'm just like, hey, make my day. Yeah, the twenty is just for fun. Yeah, exactly. It's for fun. <laughs> yeah. And like I need more fun. Hmm. So you have anything else? You look like you're kinda tired. I feel like I've worn you out during this hangout session. Um, I don't know. How long have we been going? I have no idea. The counter's broken. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. There's so much to talk about, like current events, or we could keep it strictly anime. Oh, no, we can talk about literally whatever the fuck we want. It's a hangout session. But what's going on with you? Let's see. Um, I'm just managing interns this summer at my lab. So managing two of them, one is full time and one comes in the afternoon. So it's been kind of interesting witnessing myself kind of in an out of body experience how to how I'm juggling all of this and not burning out like I'm pretty impressed with myself right now and I cannot (laughs) wait until summer ends fair yeah it's definitely overwhelming but I'm managing it to where I'm not being burnt out that is an impressive skill. Like, I am so proud of you. It took many years to figure that out, and I think I'm still figuring it out. You know, it, I guess it just comes differently, like, at different times for different people. Yeah, it comes with experience, and for me, I'm more of an introspective person, so I'm always reflecting and thinking a lot and trying to improve and suck less day by day. Which, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I fall short in that category, but all we can do is our best. Yeah, just trying our best and like giving myself a, just trying to, uh, I don't know, not put so much pressure. Of course, I'm saying this at a point where in my menstrual cycle, I'm not going to be all agitated. So this is me all (laughs) level-headed. Well, shit. I am low-key, like, do, do um, do you have five guys where you live? 
Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. It is so expensive here, but it is an expensive one. But Shake my, Shack too. I've never been to Shake Shack. Do you have one? I think so. But never been. But Five Guys, my buddy took me there like a few weeks ago, probably a month ago now. He was like, yeah, I used to work at Five Guys. Used to eat there a whole bunch. And uh, yeah, it was it was not good for for me, but made decent money. And I was like, okay. And he paid for me to get some Five Guys. And I'm like, you're just such a sweet soul. And it was so good. It was so greasy. And it was like a $10 burger. And I'm like, this burger is worth maybe 5 or $6, not 10 Wow. I would not pay 10 for that. But it was really good. Like a regular cheeseburger is actually a double cheeseburger for some reason. And I'm like, why? Why not? Because we're five guys. <laughs> and he's like, well, I'm one guy with very limited funds. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really eat at five guys. I guess if I do burgers, I'll just go to In N Out. I've always wanted to try in and out but I've never been out that way. Yeah, you got to come over to California. That's like your first stop. Isn't that kind of like a what is what's the word? Not not stereotypical, generic. Isn't that like the generic answer that like all tourists go to in and out? Yeah, it's a typical answer, but it's like, well, you need to try it before you make a decision if you like it. Is it that good though? Yeah, for what you're paying for. Yeah. Is it cheap? Yes. Oh. Yeah, it's cheap and it's a simple menu. Oh, God, I think I'm going to have to take a trip to California then. Yeah, like a double cheeseburger is like $4. What? And you can add things to it, I think, for free. Like uh, hot peppers, you can make your onion raw or grilled or diced and grilled you can make your buns extra toasty they have a special sauce that you could add ketchup mustard to you can make it animal style for like a dollar more um it's a hearty sandwich yeah it is almost 1 30 here and i'm about to go downstairs and make taquitos because i'm hungry now <laughs> yeah it's oh my like, god yeah 10 30 here um i'm also hungry i think this might be the place to call it then i'm so upset <laughs> <laughs> yes we'll, we'll end it on a food note uh, but before before i go i do have one one story this is about the power of uh of a certain fast food chain so me and the guy I went to uh, Five Guys with, we, we hang out quite a bit now. He was my first friend that I made in college. And what is it seven years later, we're still friends. Uh, but we, I got a, I got a, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. Burps. I got an invite to see, for an early press screening to see Thor Love and Thunder, which if you've heard the podcast episode about that, I thought that was pretty fun. It's my favorite mm -hmm. Marvel movie. Mm -hmm. um, and we were we were talking about going to Cheesecake Factory afterwards. Bless you. Bless you. I mean, I, I just coughed to clear oh, I thought my throat. That was, I thought that was a sneeze. But we were like, all right, yeah, we're going to go to Cheesecake Factory afterwards. We're going to treat ourselves. We got out, and it was probably like eight or nine something, and we were like, "We're, we're going, we're going to Chick Fil A, right?" And it was like, "Yeah, we're going to Chick Fil A." Uh, every time we've hung out, except for the first time we hung out, where since we've both been in the same city again, which is when we went to Five Guys. Every time we go to Chick Fil A, and I sent him a video of this girl who like snuck Chick-fil-A into her boyfriend's mouth while she, while he was asleep. It was a skit. Don't worry. It was all staged. Oh, At least I okay. think, no, wait, uh, I don't actually, I don't know if it was or not, but 
I was like, this is going to be us with our girlfriends. And he was like, yeah, because Chick-fil-A is our love language. <laughs> they need to know that. They need to know that Chick-fil-A is our love language. Mm-hmm. That and uh, uh, there's this one kid who was working there. I don't know his real name, so I just named him Dylan. And I asked for a deluxe number one, and he gave me a regular one. So, Dylan, if you're listening to this, I remember you. I'm coming back, and you better not fuck up my order next time. Even though you probably had a long day, it's fine. I don't care. Honestly, I, I'm horrible at standing up for myself. It's 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 kind of bad. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is the place to call it. Yeah, I think so, too. We <laughs> talked for a bit. All right. Well, this has been the first installment of the Hangout Sessions. I would love to thank you, Catherine, for coming on. Of course. Finally, you've invited me on. <laughs> After a full, I mean... When we first met and you told me you do podcasts, I thought I dropped so many hints that I would love to do podcast I'm episode. so sorry. <laughs> well, this is, you, you helped to christen a brand new series. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. <laughs> you don't look happy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm grateful. (laughs) (laughs) All right. All right. All right. We're out of here. Okay. Uh, If you want to to follow me on social (laughs) media, you can follow me on Instagram at Anime Alpha Goat. You can follow me on Twitter at Our Anime Home, or you can email me at Our Anime Home at gmail.com. Leave a review on Spotify or Apple podcast or google whatever you're listening to this on because it helps the podcast get noticed and uh don't be afraid to subscribe to that patreon or just to buy me a coffee because your boy likes money and wants to support himself so that he can keep doing this and yeah that's all i got got anything you want to say Catherine? I mean, if you want to follow me, my Instagram is open, too. (laughs) Our Instagram is open, too. Yep, Katsu Cat. Very creative. Is that how you say it? Yeah, it's Katsu Cat, where the Katsu part is with a C, and the cat is with a K. I just traded the letters. I feel so fucking stupid right now. How have you been pronouncing it? Katsu Cat. Katsu cat, like the food. I, I I understand that now. Do you get it now? Well, no, because like you post, like you you have cats, so I'm like cat. <sighs> no. All right, we're done here. Okay. <laughs> bye, Catherine. All right, bye. <laughs>